Hello everybody, I'm in Storm here, and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Macedonian Empire. In the last episode, uh, we got a couple of things done. We basically smashed our way through uh, Indochina here. We got one more state in here to take out, which is uh, Dai Viet, I think that's, that's what it is. No, Dai Nam. Okay. We still have Ava, but we have a truce with them. Uh, we'll be knocking them out as soon as the truce is done. Um, and then we can move on to, you know, Brunei and Makassar and Majapahit. Not sure how to pronounce that. And kind of, you know, consolidate some of uh, the South Pacific here. The other thing that we were starting to work on was getting a lot of the military organized a bit. I want to kind of create a standardized structure for every army in the military. So that is what we're doing. So we've been working on getting a lot of these armies structured the way I like. So we're going to continue working on that. So let's go ahead and unpause. Let's get things moving forward here a little bit. Uh, not, not too quickly. All right, so we're moving these guys over here to pick up uh, some a unit that we're going to be training here. All right, it's gathering goods. What's this? Hmm. All right. So yeah, we're just waiting for this to get done, which is almost there. Uh, oh, we got a newspaper. War between Macedonian Empire and Dainam. Yep. Georgia goes to war. So the war now exists with Volga. Did they take out Volga? They're at war. Maybe they do have someone in there sieging it. I just don't... can't see it. When we go to war with Sayak, it might get a little interesting because they're allied... Yeah, they're allied with Fess. Um, but, I mean, it's always possible that Fess will refuse the call to arms. So, actually, let's start getting some of these guys just marched over here. Alright, so these guys have landed. We're training troops here, here, and here. We have these nine, three infantry. We have to figure out something to do with them. Oh, and I got this army sitting here. Catalonian nationalists. Okay. Oh. I have a lot of my army still on hunt rebels. No, we don't. We don't want these guys hunting rebels anymore. Okay, good. They're not. These guys can, and these guys can. Uh, let me just click through every single one of my armies. Make sure that hunt rebels is turned off. The seventh army, the eleventh army, the first, twentieth. Now those guys are okay. I'll turn that off. So I really don't think we're gonna have any massive rebellions like we had before. Alright, you... 10th... 41st, yeah, turn that off. Turn that off. 40th Army. And we want to keep that one on. 6th Army's marching, 22nd Army, 
Turn that off. 14th Army. 12th. 25th. We have a pretty big military. <laughs> And those guys. Okay, so that, that's all of them. Alright. Why is the budget in the tank? Oh, I'll just knock those guys down. I'm surprised Dynam hasn't sued for peace yet. Propose peace? Yep, they will accept that offer. There we go. Oh. Okay. Have these guys come up yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we won that battle. Should be over pretty quickly. Or pretty quick, I think. Oh, uh, Cree reactionaries have reinforced have uh, enforced their demands in Cree. Okay. The budget's in the toilet. Why is the budget in the toilet? Malay well, martyr. Okay, clearly dangerous. All right. Uh, what about Abba? Diplomacy, can we justify war on them yet? No, nope, still have a truce. The save for how long? No, it doesn't. We'll just go ahead and march our guys over there anyway, because that's who we're going to be going at next. Well, eventually. So those guys merge up. So that's four infantry. Were we actually producing? I guess we were. Ah, there's the troops we're looking for. Uh, they're up to 27. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to load that guy up. Bring that guy over there. Oh, what do we got here? Aju. Aju can get added to sphere. There we go. Let me just check my sphere real quick. Make sure nobody's doing anything. There we go. We are good. So for some reason, we're losing a ton of money. Why are we losing a ton of money? Let's see. Chamber of Commerce protests. Chamber of Commerce in one of our states has lodged an angry protest with local government complaining that the government's economic policy of economic interventionalism harms local businesses by distorting the fundamental logic of the, of the free market. Inspired by Enlightenment publications on free trade and laissez-faire by the French physiocrats and the Scottish Enlightenment, the Chamber of Commons demands that the government's policy change and that they be left alone to conduct business in the manners that they see fit. If the demands are not met, they threaten to raise the issue to the national level. Refuse to submit to political demands by the entrenched elites. Uh, perhaps some slight adjustments locally could be considered. Uh, what's the says new patent science engineers 
in Porto are reported to have invented cracking. Major discovery, dogma of violence. I think one thing we do need to do is once point defense system finishes, we need to start taking some economic uh, technology. All right, so you guys, I'm actually gonna load these guys on the ships and bring them over here. And I need to see what we're gonna do as far as recruitment. Yes, I want research points. I need an engineer, three cavalry, and two and two artillery. You know what might be a good idea? Let's do it here. Build an army. We're gonna say engineers. We're gonna say cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, and two artillery pieces. I'm gonna gather up there. So let's swing our our ships over. That oh, point defense system finished. Commerce, administration efficiency. Tax efficiency, investment banks, factory output efficiency, collectivist theory. Yeah, I think we want to take investment banks. Let's take that. It'll take a little bit. Diplomatic tension has caused an international crisis in Rio Grande do Sul. No concerns will be resolved in a civilized way. Offer backing country from a crisis from Inca. Okay, what's the crisis? Crisis of the return of Cherokee's rightful territories. Actually, you know what? We're just going to stay out of that. Rather not get involved in fighting a another war. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me! Macedonian communists. Ay ay ay. This again. Alright, make sure we don't have any... Oh, we're pretty close to Baghdad. Alright, you guys. March to uh, Babylon. Right now we're going to put everybody back on Hunt Rebels again. We don't have any Rebels down here. Hunt rebels, hunt rebels. Everybody hunt down the rebels and wipe them out. Alright, that's taking care of all of those guys. These guys can hunt rebels as well. They're already working on it. Okay. Uh, do we have any other armies that I'm just not aware of? Ah, you guys hunt rebels. Uh, you guys hunt rebels as well. Nope, we're going to decline on that. And then we need to take these guys out. March over there. Yep, that should take care of it. I really don't want to crank the taxes back up. 
It looks like I don't really have much of a choice. Semester in curricula. Request for military access from Georgia. Uh, no. Alright, you guys load up and swing over here. cause all kinds of problems with my recruitment. Uh, land in here and tell everybody to can we cancel? We have, yep, just cancel these. Let's see if we can get these guys to hunt rebels. Bridges of the colonies flow to our nation's coffers, but it's not only in monetary terms that our nation benefits from the, its possessions in the new worlds. The single biggest gain from our colonial presence lies in continually expanding venues and fields in which our technological advances can be applied, tried, and tested. Certain well off philanthropists of the Mastering Empire have decided to fund a colonial expedition to celebrate our colonies, our missionaries, and our empire. The question is how we should advertise the exposition. A celebration of our technological prowess or a grand salute to the Empire. Long live the captains of industry and technology. Yes. 6,000 research points. We'll take it. Uh, what we got here? Uh, oh, key. You can be added to the sphere now. Uh, synchronized heavy support. Okay, some additional... Alright, excellent. We won, we won. Alright, let's actually move these guys in here. Looks like our income fell off a cliff. I mean, the military spending really isn't that much. Maintain a healthy bureaucracy, increasing your tax efficiency. Hmm. I might have to back some of this off a little bit. At least for now, so that we can at least make some money. I lost. What? Press for military access for the Norse Empire, no. Did I get my army down here wiped out? Apparently I did. Well, that's irritating. Ah, well, we'll just rebuild it.
And we're still losing a lot of money. Master Noon Botanical Expedition that we dispatched some time ago hasn't been heard from in quite a while. Yesterday we received a troubling report. The camp is deserted, scattered around the former campgrounds are trace remains of what I believe to be signs of a struggle. Tracks lead further away from the vast, inhospitable hell beyond. I believe this to be the end of the Macedonian Botanical Expedition of 1875. It seems our expedition has vanished. Blast! Right, we really need this, uh... The investment bank stack. Um... Trees on economics. Liberal professor. Let's see. Gain militancy, gain prestige, lose militancy. All poor try to lose militancy. Let's do that. Well, we have we have military. Oh, we have armies marching through here. That's going to clean this up. Yep, these guys march through here. You guys get there. Disloyal Regiment. Uh, let's get the less militancy there. I wonder if this is being caused by the Rebellion. Bella Katmandu. Alright. You guys march back there. Ah, well, yeah, we do. We can create a state. All right, create a state. Excellent. All right, so all these guys are marching. To take care of business. Excellent. Can we justify war against Ava yet? No, we can't. I was going to justify war. Against Brunei. I still might be able to. I think I might have enough troops. And we bring these two armies together. I doubt they have more than these 21. Uh, what do we got here? Research complete. Georgia expands. So they absorb Volga? Yep, they did. Signal detachments. Engineer siege. Dragon Reconnaissance, Hussar Reconnaissance. Another Rebellion. Alright, you guys load up. Trinigov goes bankrupt. Uh, nothing I can do about that right now. We're going to go to diplomacy. We're going to justify war. An Another rebellion. Well, at least that one's small. Acquire state. Proceed. Oh, we need to set a research. Actually, that did improve things. Uh, let's take the private bank money bill. Printing. Mid efficiency. Gets us double standard tax efficiency. Yeah, yeah, we need to start research on this stuff. As much as I'd like to get better naval tech and better army tech, the, the economy is 
was kind of in the toilet there for a little bit, but it looks like we're starting to recover. And a bit of a recession. Uh, support the movement. Carry a big stick. I think we're going to actually take ships. Ooh. Get these guys from uh, the Maldives. We'll move them over to Sri Lanka and take that down. Then move that army over to the, the Balkan areas where we're going to be doing our reorganizing. Uh, yeah, mitigate the policies, get some research points. Farmers keep some. Price of machine parts collapse. News counterfeiting. An Irish man, a Pole, and a Prussian were arrested yesterday as part of an ongoing investigation into a shadowy cabal which concocted news stories and presented them as if they were factual. Okay. <laughs> Campaign for Married Woman's Property Act. A married woman owns no personal property and her legal identity has ceased to exist as, as husband and wife or joined in one person under the law and marriage. We want to change this. We want women to be able to dispose of their own property as they wish. We want the courts of law to recognize a husband and wife as two separate legal entities. The suffragette movement in, Macedon, in the Macedonian Empire has organized a rally in one of our states, campaigning for the right of women to receive recognition of the rights, deeds, and titles of property that they, in many cases, already de facto hold. All pops. Come 20% liberal. Uh, yeah. We'll go with that. Sahara Granite Statehood. Uh, where do we still have... Colonial Incident. Okay, so... Gains a place in the sun, Casas Belia, Georgia. Relations between Georgia and Master and Empire changed by negative 20. All pops and Master and Empire 5% more in favor of Jingoism. Eh, Gain a half a point of militancy. Um, we're just going to go with... Uh, I do not believe that it is really worth going to war over. Because we... are in a bit of a situation. With our rebellions. Oh. We have rebels over here. We need to deal with those. You guys hunt rebels. We're probably going to have to actually have to leave these armies on hunt rebels. Considering how many rebels we have going. We don't have any rebels up here, do we? Uh, no, this is all, all in Brazil, it looks like. Feed a local poor. Rearranged. Actually, now that we are doing okay, let's let's get our administration education budgets back up to to maximum, and let's see if we can back off the the taxes. Uh, intervene eventually. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to deal with these rebels or prevent them from rebelling in the first place. Colonial discontent. Make no concessions. 
the threats and violence. Uh, let's go with uh, the consciousness, not the militancy. Bring this army over here. Now, these guys should all be marching back to where we had them, yep. How goes my war justification? It's, it's coming along. Alright. Request for military access from Georgia. What? Why is Georgia requesting military access from me? Ooh, apparently they're at war with the Norse Empire and Chernigov. Ooh, so Chernigov looks like they're about to be absorbed. Oh, we got the Acquire State, Castles Belli against Brunei. Okay, so those guys need to take care of that. And then we're going to go ahead and declare war. Or no, did we get to... We just got detected. Okay. It was, we didn't actually get it. I'm like, wow, that was really fast. We were just detected. But, you know, I don't really care about that. Alright, so we wiped that out. Alright, you guys load up on boats. And swing over here. Oh, looks like they already took care of uh, Sri Lanka. Okay. Let's load these guys up and bring them over here. Okay, so these guys... Alright, these guys are all correct structure. We got one more hostile. Occupation. Looks like those guys will get around to it once they siege all the territory back. I control the clergy. We lost some Cassus Billi generation. So there's 2,400 communists left and 4,700 Brazilian nationalists. Where are the communists? These guys? I guess they're all over here. Okay, so that was a little bit unexpected, but we got it taken care of. Alright, so this is a private bank money and bill printing. Okay, so. Let's see, double standard. Non policy is planned economy. There's consciousness. Okay, so we... That should come up. So this gives gold standard, international monetary exchange rates, tax, increased tax efficiency. So let's go ahead and let's start research on that. What is this? A Tajik poet, disturbed by the lack of a Tajik national consciousness, has published a hymn to his native country that is quickly developing into a symbol 
national resistance against our rule in Kulab. Get rid of the poet, but doing so does entail the risk of becoming dis of being discovered. You leave him be and gain consciousness. Strychnine or cyanide? They gain militancy. Leave him be. The military leader died. Oh, we got election starting. Right, we got double standard and industrial production investments. So factory cost is down. Tax efficiency is up. These guys still in that war? Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna proceed. We're gonna allow. It looks like Croatia had some uh, had some rebel problems as well. We're gonna allow the Norse Empire to traverse our territory. That'll help them uh, fight Georgia a little bit better, hopefully. And we are a little bit long here. I really didn't get a chance to work on things. Not on my, my armies as much as I would have liked because of the whole rebellion, but, you know. Let's see. Pay 10... Gain eight militancy. Let's still mean dogs lie. We don't want the militancy. We still have hostile occupations. Ah, yeah. All right, so that that definitely did help the economy. Fixed intramonetary exchange rates. More tax efficiency. Industrial R&D investments, more uh, reduce, reduction in factory cost. Right, so that's good. We have gained the acquired state castle's belly against Brunei. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and declare this war, and then we're gonna end the episode, and then we'll take care of this war when we come back. All right, proceed. And we'll order our guys into Brunei. All right. So we'll go ahead and end this here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.